Hi, I'm Marilee Mostow from the Bainbridge Island Historical Museum. On today's episode of The Curious Curator, I'm in Fort Ward checking out this place. It was originally built in 1910 as the bakery for the U.S. Army Artillery Corps. Most recently, it's been undergoing a renovation to become a community hall. Today, I'm going to be chatting with a few of the people who have had a hand in this renovation. Let's go check it out. Hi, DC. Thank you for meeting me here today. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of this building? Well, the Fort Ward Bakery was built in 1910 as part of the um, United States Army Coast Artillery Corps installation at Fort Ward. And we were here, uh, the fort was built to defend Puget Sound and uh, the Bremerton Naval Shipyard against uh, attack from, or against the threat of attack, I should say, by foreign navies. Um, amongst all the buildings that they put up here, uh, they also built this little brick bakery. If you had stepped through these very doors in 1910, you'd have seen um, a, a very large industrial size oven and various racks and tables and rooms dedicated to the, the various aspects and of the, the process of baking bread in large volumes. And uh, in the south wing, there were three rooms dedicated to uh, one to proofing, one to flour, and one to uh, cooling the um, fresh baked loaves. And then in the north wing, the uh, post baker had his own quarters. and. Uh, lived on site, and I guess uh, probably because he had to get up so early in the morning to, uh, to start baking, as bakers do. It was a, uh, baking was a big deal. You know, the army had its own dedicated manual for army bakers, and we have a copy of that from 1916, and it tells you everything about um, how to bake bread, both on base and out in the field. So it was a bakery mm -hmm. originally, yes. but then things changed, as they always do. What happened next? Well, the fort was decommissioned in 1928 and sat uh, fallow for 10 years. In 1938, um, with the rumblings of hostilities in the Pacific, uh, the Navy reopened Fort Ward, uh, this time as Naval Radio Station Bainbridge Island. So it went from, uh, from coast defense to, to radioactivity. But just down the street at uh, Top Secret Station S, that was where the real action was going on. And a big the men and women who served here would um, sit at high-powered radios and eavesdrop on top secret communications of Imperial Japan um, across the Pacific, both military and diplomatic traffic. And there were hundreds of radios here, all of them with tubes, and all of them drawing huge amounts of power. And so, uh, the Navy needed supplementary power to, uh, for those activities. So at that point, they repurposed the bakery as a power station. It put a big giant diesel generator inside, um, and it churned out electricity that was um, routed up and down the base to uh, power radios and act other activities. Yeah, um, I'm Stella Streifer. Um, I'm on team, team two, part two of the Fort Ward um, youth Advisory Board. So we just helped as um, the youth of Fort Ward and community members of Fort Ward to help bring this project to what it is today and what it's going to be. Hi, I'm Isla. I'm part of the original Youth uh, Advisory Board that helped with this project. That was started in 2014 and 2020. Nice. And basically, we got the word out that this was a project that we wanted to have happen because there is no community hall in the South End. So much of my time was spent coming down here and I would present the bakery and tour with people who were interested in donating to our cause and show them what the building looked like and sort of show them what it could look like. And so now that that vision is real. Some of the stuff that is in here, we found by like complete accident. Some of the doors are original. One of them we found underneath the old floor, and so we just we didn't know where it went, but we found it under the old floor, so we were able to restore it. And there was another set of doors that was found in a neighbor's garden, <laughs> garden shed. He had been using the old bakery doors as doors for his shed for years, and um, some of the fan lights are original. So that's been really cool to sort of see not only new productions come back, but like the original pieces come back that we just find around in this community. When I was younger, this house used to, or building was a rental, and so it was, it was used for people to live here. And um, there's a woman who lived here named Kara, and she kind of befriended all the kids in the neighborhood, and so I remember having sleepovers here as a kid. So it looks totally different now to what it does when I grew up. When I grew up, uh, first of all, the floor, 
is about six feet, five feet higher. So the floor is about here. And so the ceilings were a lot closer because the floor was raised in the 60s to provide a heating unit underneath. And so the doorways used to be really short. If you were over like five foot six, you had to end up getting through these doorways. So part of the renovation, we took out all of the floor and restored it to how it used to be. When this project first started, we had to have a lot of like creative licensing almost to see what it could be. And now, what is it, six years later, this is what we wanted it to be and it's here. So it's really cool to think about that. What do you hope to happen in here? You know, as a community hall, like Island Center Hall and Seabold Hall, it's really up to the community what happens here. Um, people can rent, uh, individuals and groups can rent the building through the park district and just like the other community halls around the island and then do their thing. We did. Um, give it extra baking capacity um, to honor its legacy, um, its original legacy as a, as a bakery. And so if somebody wanted to teach a baking class here or just have an event where they baked bread or fresh scones or something and the scent of fresh baked goods went wafting through the building um, as it did so many years ago when it was first built, I think that would be super cool.